So in today's course, we're going to talk about some of the issues that are common after potty training. And we insist on you to stay engaged after potty training. That's probably one of the biggest messages we can provide you that's very unique in our course. Uh, that just because your child is potty trained and is in their favorite underwear during the day, uh, doesn't mean that they understand completely their bodily functions and can keep themselves potty trained. So we ask parents to stay engaged. And what does that mean? Well, it's kind of like if you tell if you teach a child to ride a bicycle, it doesn't mean they're really ready to uh, drive a motorcycle. Big difference. Just because your child learned to pee and poop in the potty doesn't really understand how to empty their bladder, what are all the messages. Uh, they're not going to miss out on all the actions if they do go to the bathroom. They're still just a two, three, four, five year old. So you as a parent will need to stay engaged. I tell parents, you don't really ask your children to brush their teeth, you tell them. And so likewise with potty training, it's very, very important after potty training that children, the moment they wake up until they go to bed, that they go to the bathroom at least every two hours to pee. And preferably they should be pooping every day. And this will take probably some reminders, whether it be some kind of a, uh, alarm, alarm on your, your phone or a special watch, uh, but maybe it's recruiting teachers, grandparents, uh, babysitters, all to stay after your child and tell them to go potty. Not would you, could you, can you, let's go potty. It's time to go potty. And you want that to go every two hours throughout the day and you want them to relax. We don't like pit stops. The kid that can go in and pee in three seconds, they're not empty. Even if you ask them, they'll say they're empty, they're not. So you want them to go and relax for a minute in the potty. And if the boys are doing pit stops, you might even encourage them to sit down and relax. No pushing, no straining, just relax. I kind of like boredom. I used to say, send them with a book, game, or toy, but that's just an entertainment on the toilet. And really they should be bored for a minute as opposed to entertain for 15 or 20 minutes. And then lastly, I say that they really should be having a daily bowel movement. I even kind of like two poops a day if we can get it. But the kids that pee often, relax, take their time, completely empty, and poop well, are the kids that aren't gonna be having constipation issues in the future, aren't gonna be having belly pains, aren't gonna be in the emergency room for various issues, aren't gonna be bedwetters. So if you can stay engaged after potty training and instill very good peeing and pooping habits after potty training, you probably won't need to see people like me. University, please give us a thumbs up, comment, and be sure to subscribe.